Children, look at here. How many diaries are there? 1, 2, 3. So, totally 3 diaries are there. Isn't it? There are 3 diaries are there. Isn't it children? Now, how many zippers are there children? 1, 2. 2 zippers are there. Isn't it? So, we can write the number 2 as like this. First we saw three diaries and then we saw two zippers. Now about the box, there is a potato. How many potatoes are there? Yes, there is one potato. Now I cut down the potato into two equal pieces. Now can you write the number for this piece? We cannot because it is not a whole object. This piece is not a whole object. So we cannot write it as numbers. Isn't it children? No. We have a new concept to write the part of your whole thing as numbers. It is called as fractional numbers. It is called as fractions. So children we can say fraction is part of a whole. First we saw a full potato. Then I cut down the potato into pieces, two pieces. So this is part of a whole potato. And as we cut down the whole potato into two pieces. And now I am showing only one piece to you. This number is called as. We can write this number as. Look at the board children. We can write the one piece as 1 by 2. We should read the number as 1 by 2. We, we cut down the whole potato into two pieces. So in the down part I am writing 2. And I am showing you only one part. So above you have to write 1. Children, the number which is above is called as numerator. And the number below is called as denominator. So in a fraction 1 by 2, 1 is the numerator and 2 is the denominator. Now children you have to say in one whole object how many halves are there? We can cut a whole potato into how many halves? 2 halves. Isn't it children? In the same way if I cut down a potato into 4 equal pieces then each part is called as quarter. Then each part is called as Quarter. Listen carefully children. When we cut a whole thing into two equal pieces, it is called as two halves. When we cut down into four equal pieces, then each part is called as quarter. So in a whole object, two halves are there and four quarters are there. Now here each part is a quarter because four equal parts are there. So in one whole Two halves and four quarters are there. Half we can write it as one by two. And quarter can be written as one by four. Children, now we are going to learn the types of fraction. From this part onwards, you have to start to write in your pair note. Write today's date and write the heading chapter seven fraction and start to write this. Okay, children. The first type is like fractions. Like fractions is nothing but the set of fractions with same denominator. Already I told you denominator is nothing but in a fraction which number is at the down is called as denominator. So in a set of fractions if their denominators are same then they are called as like fractions. Here all the denominators are 9. So these three fractions are like fractions. So obviously for unlike fractions the denominator should be different. The denominator should be different. Here look at observe the denominators 9, 8, 5. The three denominators are different. So they are unlike fractions. Then the third type is unit fractions. Unit fraction is nothing but fractions with the numerator 1. The set of fractions with numerator 1 are called as 
unit fractions then the next type is proper fraction in a proper fraction numerator should be small look at the first fraction 2 by 3 here the numerator 2 is smaller than the denominator so it is a proper fraction in the same way look at the next fraction 4 by 5 yes here the numerator 4 is smaller than the denominator 5 so this is a proper fraction obviously what the, what will be the definition for improper fractions the numerator should be greater the numerator should be greater look at the first fraction 7 by 3 the numerator 7 is bigger than 3 so it is an improper fraction you should um, all types of fractions are very important but you, you we will be using often proper fraction and improper improper fractions so keep uh, remember it okay children the next type is mixed fraction a mixed fraction is nothing but a whole number plus a proper fraction a mixed fraction is nothing but a whole number plus a proper fraction 1 2 by 7 1 is the whole number and 2 by 7 is the proper fraction because the numerator is small 1 is the whole number then 5 6 by 11 here 5 is the whole number and 6 by 11 is the proper fraction now children you are going to learn a new thing we can convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. In the same way, an improper fraction also can be converted into a mixed fraction. Okay. Now, exercise 22. Question number 7. Convert into an improper fraction. The mixed fraction is given here. We are going to convert it as improper fraction. Children, all of you read the mixed fraction along with me. 3, 3 by 5. You should read as 3 separately. 3, 3 by 5. Now we are going to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. To convert this as an improper fraction, first we have to multiply this 3 with 5. 3 into 5. 3 into 5. Then put a bracket. With this answer, we are going to add the numerator. So, plus 3 divided by 5. Sorry, by 5. Because we are going to change it as a fraction. So, obviously, this 5 will come as a denominator. Now, 3 5s are 8, 15. Put this plus, plus 3. Now, 15 plus 3 is 18. So, 18 by 5. Now, we converted 3, 3 by 5 as 18 by 5. Shall we do one more problem, children? We can solve two more problems in the same type. Okay, children? 2 5 by 7. First, we have to multiply 2 with 7. 2 7s are 14. Then 14 plus 5, 19. 19. Denominator is 7. So, here also we have to write 7. Look at the D question. 4 5 by 6. First, we have to multiply 4 with 6. 4 6s are 24 plus 5. 24 plus 5 is 29. So, the answer is 29 by 6. Children, in last question, we learned to change mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Here in question number 8, we are going to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. It is an improper fraction because the numerator is big. Isn't it children? To change an improper fraction into a mixed fraction, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. Numerator is 11. Write 11 as dividend. And in the denominator 4 is there. Write that 4 as divisor. Now we have to divide 11 by 4. 1 4 is 4. 2 4 is 8. 3 4 is 12. So we have to choose here 2 4 is 8. And the remainder is 3. This is the next step. This is a very very important step. What is the quotient? The quotient should be written as the whole number. And what is the remainder? It should be written as the numerator. And what is the divisor? It should become as the denominator. This very simple children already in, in the question which is in the denominator. The same number should come as the denominator in the answer part also. So the quotient is at the top. So you should write the quotient as whole number. And the remainder, what is the remainder? The 3 is the remainder. So 3 should come as the numerator. And the divisor should, should come as the denominator. 
Now we can check whether our mixed fraction is correct or not. Shall we check children? 2, 4, sir, 8. What is 8 plus 3? 11. So the improper fraction of this mixed fraction is 11 by 4. So our answer is correct. Shall we solve one more question? 17 by 8. Is this 17 by 8 is a proper fraction or an improper fraction? It is an improper fraction because the numerator is big. So to change this as a mixed fraction, divide 17 by 8. 2 8s are 16, remainder 1. What should come as the whole number children? The quotient should come as the whole number. What should come as the numerator? The remainder should come as the numerator. And this divisor should come as the denominator. Shall we check our answer whether it is correct or not? 2 8s are 16. 16 plus 1, 17. So our answer is 17 by 8. So our mixed fraction is correct. Children, this is time for homework in exercise 22 from question number 1 to 6. All the divisions you have to do as homework in your book only. Okay. Today's homework is very simple. Complete your classwork, homework and send it to me the snaps by today itself. Okay, children. Don't forget you should complete the classwork, homework and send the snaps to me by today itself. Thank you, children.